Okay, I'm going to talk about the course called 164, which is Instrumentation for Electrical Test and Measurement. This is something that uh, tends to be an area that's somewhat totally ignored in school and other areas. A lot of people are depending upon on-the-job training, which in some cases the on-the-job training isn't adequate because of the simple fact the person that's doing the training doesn't really know that much about making measurements and all the problems that can occur with measurements. What we're going to do is we're going to look at who should attend this and so it should be any technician, any even engineer in fact, that needs to concern themselves with making proper measurements. One of the things you cover in the actual course is the kinds of signals that exist. These signals are variable all over the place. Another area that's important is what kind of noise is being generated. This noise can interfere tremendously with the actual measurement it's making, and so therefore we have to be able to identify the type of noise and what can be done with it. Um, the other thing, too, is how accurate or how uncertain is this measurement made? We talk about the uncertainty with respect to uh, the actual signal and uh, what kind of numbers we can come up properly. Uh, a lot of people consider this as being absolute, and it's not. There's lots of variables that are involved in coming up with the right number, and even the, the way you hook it up as far as attaching to what you're trying to measure can make a big difference in something that's extremely accurate to something that could be 33% in error, and you don't even know it. <clears throat> we'll look at analog and digital meters. Now, actually, analog can still be very valuable to you in making a test, and of course, digital meters, we'll look at those. Also, we'll find out that today, in reality, everything is almost a data acquisition system. So we'll look at the individual components that exist, such as the filtering, where you can have noise, the type of filtering you should have. Uh, one area that's always necessary, which a lot of manufacturers are not telling you about, is what they call an anti-alias filter. Why is this still important? Why does it have to be physical? What they're telling a lot of people is that we can do digital filtering, which is an incorrect assessment. This is a big problem with today's systems, is they think it can do more than it really can. And, uh, and so we're going to also look at the uh, analog transducers. The transducers, uh, basically a transducer is a, a device that uses a sensing element that senses some property, such as temperature or maybe acceleration or whatever, and then it gets converted into an electrical signal. Then we measure the electrical signal, and we're able to tell certain parameters that exist. Now what happens here is that you put all this stuff together in what we call a measurement system. So you have to look at the system as a whole individual parts, see how they contribute together, and come up with if is it really a valid kind of measurement. And then of course the interference signals, they're all over the place. We check and examine those and talk about the possibilities that exist with the way you hook it up. And therefore, uh, if you look at it, then anybody that basically is involved with the possibility of measurements or electronics actually has to, should come to this course. And uh, what will you gain? You'll gain a tremendous amount of knowledge of how to accurately and properly make a measurement.